Hey folks, this is Samir and finally after a long time, I'm back with another best Android app video. So for the month of February, I have selected top apps from different categories that might be useful to improve your overall Android experience. Excited? So let's get started. Kicking off the list with Action Dash, which is a new release from the developer of Action Launcher and it is basically a well-being app with a few extra features. You use this to see which apps you have used and how long you have used them. This will allow you to make informed decisions about your usage. Action Dash is free to use, though if you would like to make full use of every feature, you will have to pay to unlock some of them. Next up we have Emo Alley, which is a quite interesting app and recently I find this one. It is basically a platform where you can do lots of stuff, like you can share your post, browse and find and meet new people and also you can earn money. So first you have to go through with the initial setup, where you have to fill in some basic informations like your name, age, gender etc. Rather than that, you can also tell about your expertise by filling the rest of the details. Now some of you might be wondering why we have to fill this information. Well, that's because this is also a meetup app where you can meet with professionals. Once you are done with the setup, you will be greeted with the home screen. Here you will find different posts and profiles of existing users and by liking and sharing these posts, you can also earn coins. Now how this app works is, you look for profiles, check the availability of the users by sending them the request. If they accepted the request, you have to pay as per the profile and schedule hours. Using this app, you can meet with professionals to learn and share your experiences. Next up we have an amazing live wallpaper app known as Shader Paper, which is hands down the best live wallpaper app that I have used in a while. There are 40 separate shaders to choose from and each can be tweaked to look exactly however you like. Plus you can conserve your battery by bumping down the moment details, which is excellent for all of your battery conscious user out there. Best of all, you get all of this free of charge. So if you're looking for a versatile live wallpaper with an almost endless assortment of options, Shader Paper is the obvious choice. Bottom quick settings work similarly to the iOS setting drawer. It allows you to drag a quick setting panel from the bottom of the screen. You will find toggles like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and airplane mode and even you can customize the list. So all your favorite toggles are only a swipe away. Sure, they were already a swipe away from the top of the screen but now you can pull them up from a much more finger friendly position. Wi-Fi AR Core is a cool little app that visualizes Wi-Fi strength through augmented reality. All you have to do is boot up the app, accept its permission and then you will be able to see clearly labeled signal meters in your surroundings. This way, you will know exactly what direction to move towards if you ever need a stronger signal. Adobe Spark Post makes it easy to design graphics from your phone or tablet and no actual design skill is required. You can easily apply pre-made filters to your photos to instantly create beautiful graphics. Everything in the app is self-explanatory. So if you frequently post your photos on the web and requires a competent editing tool, Adobe Spark Post may very well be precisely what you have been looking for. The Trips app has been around for a while, but recently Google rolled out a huge update that dramatically improved this app for me. It pulls information from maps, flights, hotels and Gmail. There are times when the all-seeing, all-knowing Google data gathering machine is useful to give you tailored holiday plans. What I love about the app is how well recruited all the information is. You really can manage your whole trip from one place, getting an overview of your reservations, providing lists of things to do as well as information about getting around your destination. You can also download your destinations so you can access all the features offline. Fluid Navigation Gestures isn't a new app, but we are not far off here. It's the biggest competitor to XDS Navigation Gesture and it's arguably the better app overall. You can add gesture control to devices that otherwise don't have them. You can assign various commands to those gestures as you normally would. It's highly configurable also. Those with some tech knowledge can also hide the software navigation keys with ADB. However, the app does not require root for any of its functionality. It's smooth, it worked during our testing and the pro version is very reasonable at $1.99. There isn't much to say about the existence of 1.1.1 faster and safer internet because the app is so ridiculously simplistic. Designed by the people at Cloudflare, the web's leading provider of DDoS protection and DNS services, comes the perfect DNS application for your phone. 
designed to help make your services that much safer, faster and better overall by using your phone's built-in VPN services. Considered by Cloudflare to be the world's safest, fastest DNS resolver, the app works to reroute your entire network traffic on your phone through 1.1.1 instead of using default DNS server, eliminating the need to configure it at a router level and making it easy to skip difficult steps altogether. So which of the above app you like the most? Do you know of any other app that I should have added to this list? Share your thoughts with us in the comments down below. And for more future videos like this, do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.